Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Main just coming at you with a video um, where I'm going to be um, reading, just reading through um, the review that we're going to be working on, on going through on Monday. Um, and I would love for you to get started this um, Friday and maybe over the weekend. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to have two portions for this reform, for this review. There's going to be a slides portion, which is here, and a Google Forms portion, which is attached at the bottom. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to read through all the questions tell you all the expectations and that's going to be that and then you're going to have our, the remainder of the afternoon to work on this um, for yourself so if you look at num number nine that video was linked on nine number 10 is where we start to do some work here it says a storage company charged $100 to rent at the start then a $50 dollars char $50 charge every month for the unit you need to tell me the total amount of money it's going to cost to rent this unit for two months that's number one. Number two, letter B here says, what is the total cost in X months? Write an equation for the problem. So you need to write an equation that's represented by this problem in the slope intercept or Y equals MX plus B form. Okay, so you can pause the video right now to do these two parts and play it when you're ready. Okay, pause it. Um, okay, now you're back. So now we need to graph the cost of the rental storage for one year. Use months as the unit of time. Be sure to label your axes and scale appropriately. So, oh my goodness, Mr. Mean is so nice. She gra she scaled it and labeled it for you. So I also put a um, table here in case you want to put some points so that you can more easily graph them when you come into it. Um, if you want to use these lines right here, Okay, so I added on here for you some dots for you to put those points on your graph. Um, use You can create some of your data points here, use these points here to graph them, and then connect them, picking either one of those lines, whatever color you want to use, okay? So then when we take a look at slide number 12, it asks us, is this a proportional relationship and how did you know? So you're telling me, is this graph here that you created a proportional relationship, yes or no, and how did you know? Then you need to draw a parallel line on the same graph going through point 300. If the parallel line represents another storage company, what is the initial fee? What is the monthly charge per unit? So you are creating a line that's parallel, never, ever, ever going to touch, that goes through this point 0, 300. You're going to tell me what is the initial value, what is the monthly charge, okay? And I'm actually going to make a change on here and... So I just added a table on here where you can tell me the initial fee and the monthly charge if you have a point, a parallel line that starts at 0, 300, okay? So then, here we go. Now you need to select all the points that are on the graph for the line 4x plus 2y equals 40. Oh my goodness, we did this in class today. You guys should have not too bad a deal with this. You're going to grab this circle. You're going to put them around all of the coordinate points that are a solution or fall on this line. Calculator is linked if you need it. Okay, last one here on the open-ended piece is you have these graphs here, right? You have a bunch of lines here. Crazy. Um, and we have line A. You need to match one of these equations here to line A. Same thing for line B. Match the equation for line B, making sure that you're looking at these numbers here, these scales, and which axis we're hitting here. When you get to these ones that are diagonal here, you might want to use these the line tool to create a um, slope triangle to create, to find and calculate that slope, okay? So you're going to want to match the equation. So you're going to grab these guys here and you're going to match them with whatever line you think they match with, okay? I'm literally just moving them anywhere, not even looking. Okay, so you're matching these guys here. Okay, so then once you finish this piece right here, we're going to move on to that Google Forms portion. The Google Forms portion, you're going to click on that link on slide number 15. It's going to take you to this Google Forms. Okay, and it's going to look nice and pretty. First name, last name, class period. Um, I'm going to change that to cohort number though because that's how I sort of talk about it. Okay, and Eileen. Okay, hit your next. 
okay? So you are once again going to select all the points that are on the, or that are, mm, select all the points that are on the graph of the line x minus 9y is equal to 12. You're going to select it on the line, not on the line, for each one of these points. You're probably going to need a piece of paper for yourself to do the workout. I suggest that you do it. It would probably be a good idea. Okay? That's section number one. I'm just going to go through and just like literally pick things so that I can get through this guy. You're going to hit next. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to look at this line right here. This There's a bunch of lines here. We looked at the same idea, the same guy yesterday, um, but we sort of added a little bit to it. Okay, so based on the graph above, select the, the true statement. So one of these statements are true. Line D, the red line, is increasing. Is that true? Line D, the red line, is increasing. Um, is line A, the purple line, decreasing? Decreasing means going down. Line C, the green line, is steeper than line B, the yellow line. Is that true? Is green steeper than the yellow line? If that is true, then you select it. You select the statement that is true. I'm literally just going to select one. That's just how I roll. You know how I roll, okay? Okay. So now, Jada earns twice as much money per hour as Diego. De Diego earns twice as much money per hour as Lynn. Select the graph that best represents how much Jada, Diego, and Lynn earned at different amounts of time worked. So I'm going to read it again. Jada earned twice as much as Diego. Diego earned twice as much as Lynn. So you're going to tell me which one of these has the um, description of these in the right order and steepness. So which one is right, A, B, C, or D? I'm just clicking any one, not selecting the right answer. Last section here, okay? Last section is we have three runners that are training for a marathon. One day they all ran about 10 miles, each at their own constant speed. So they're all going at a constant speed, okay? So um, what is the pace of runner number one in minutes per mile, okay? In minutes per mile. So how many minutes does it take them to go one mile? That's the question. You might, you're gonna, might, you might need to think about what is the slope of this line. Um, what it, you have to find this what is the pace of the runner in minutes per mile so what is your rise over your run okay now equation t equals 8.5d relates to the runner's distance in miles with time in minutes um what is runner two's speed per minute mile okay so what is the constant rate of speed what is the speed of this runner right here tell me right here okay now runner three's information is in the table below okay two miles is 16 minutes four miles is 32 minutes so how long does it take this person to go one mile what is their speed in miles per minute. Okay, then lastly, which of the three runners is the fastest, the lowest number pace? Okay, you're going to tell me here, select it, and hit submit. So, what I'm going to do is actually, one second. Okay, I'm just going to go through this one more time, real quick, just because. Um, it got a little bit hanky. Okay, so you're going to go through, you're going to put all your answers in. Um, obviously, these are not right answers because I'm just putting in numbers here. And you're going to hit submit, okay? So when you hit submit, listen, listen, um, you are going to view your score 
and um, that's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna save it to your for yourself, and it is going to. If you go into your email, let's see um, if this worked at all. Um, because Mr. Mean is a little bit of a silly Billy. Let's see what happens. Um, so when you go into your email, it should have sent me. Yes, perfect. So don't get rid of this email in your in your thing right here because we're going to use it on Monday to review your score. So when you look at um when you so you get you're going to get this email from me and you're going to be able to go back in on Monday and edit your response. So don't get rid of this email when I send it to you. So you're going to hit submit on the Google form and then you're going to keep this email so that we can go back and look at it later. OK, so success. So what you're working on for the next. I want you to take a solid 30 minutes today to work on this. Um, uh, um, review guide. If you don't finish it, that's okay. I'm going to give you 10 minutes in class on Monday and then we're going to go through it. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend and I need you to email me just so that I know that you watch this and because I think you're going to think it's funny. So my, the thing I want you to email me today is baby shark. Look, oh my goodness, guys, it's a baby shark, okay? So have a safe, fun weekend. Have an awesome time. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the study guide. I will see you all on Monday. Boop, 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 boop. Bye, guys.